Hey everyone, Siwo Bota here with a special guest. Caleb. And Taylor. We're playing Trauma Team and um, right now we're going to the field. Can you go to the house in front of the house? Will be a waste of time. Go to the front of the house very quickly. I want to check something. I, I don't trust this game. <laughs> Click the bushes underneath the staircase. Bedding bullet somehow. Spray. Remember, sometimes the game doesn't let you see anything until it's time. We might be able to come back here. Like... Okay. First, we need to give him the broken recorder. Oh God. Do you think this can be repaired? Oh, this is one old recorder. I know. I want to see what's in this. Yikes. This can't be fixed. Not even I can do it. Hmm, I see. That's unfortunate. Hey, wait a second. I can't fix the machine itself, but I might be able to get it whatever data's been saved on it. That would be great. Can you get on that? Okay, can you connect the recorder to the computer over on your end? Alright, one second. The car broken recorder has vanished. There. What's next? You don't have to do anything else. I'm going to try taking a look at the data from here. You can do that remotely? What an age we live in. Really? It's not that difficult. Don't you know how to use a computer? Zip it. Just hurry up and start <laughs> looking already. I'm getting mad. You should be thanking me for this. What was that? Uh, nothing. Uh, I'm on it. Oh! And? Uh, looks like most of the data has been corrupted. Wait, this file might still be intact. We can play this one as is. Hmm, alright. Transfer it over here. Right away. You're going to listen to it on your own machine, right? I'll name the file record L1 and send it over to you. Good. I'll try listening to it. Does the rest of the data look like it can be repaired? Hmm. I can't really say for sure myself. I'll talk to the lab techs about it. If the files can be reconstructed, I'll send the data over to you. Alright. I'll be looking forward to hearing some good news from you. <laughs> no pressure, right? Hey, little guy. I want to know more about this bullet casing. Okay. Let's see here. Well, what can you tell me? First of all, it's a case for a 9mm round. Bullets that size are normally used in handguns. Huh. So it's not something rare that could be a big clue for us. Uh. Unfortunately, that's correct. Oh, boy. But why is a mm -hmm. bullet casing on the floor inside a lab? That question might lead us to some important information. Hmm. Little guy, can I borrow you for a moment? Of course. Do you need something One of the times he's going to say, no, you cannot borrow me. Alright, let me take a look at it. How does it look? Can you tell me anything from it? Uh, it's a 9mm round, usually used in handguns all over the world. Okay, I get it. It's not all that special. So both are 9mm. Meter, so they probably came from the same much, yes. I'll let you know if I find out anything else about it. Yes, please do. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, I found out something new. Hmm? Great. What is it? Well, the bullet cases that you found under the desk at the entryway, they both have a characteristic abrasion in the same area on their sides. A characteristic abrasion? Yes, yeah, that's a like gun. when the empty casing is ejected from the chamber after firing. It was ejected? Are you saying the gun was an automatic? Well, the evidence suggests the use of a semi-automatic pistol, not a revolver. Hmm. So, a casing is ejected after every round fired? Yes, that would be the case. Hmm. That would mean that the places where we found those shell casings... Yes. It means that the gun was fired near those places. Hey, little guy. I found a blood stain on the floor here. A blood stain? Isn't it just another one left by Rosalia? Hmm. Making assumptions is a dangerous habit. I need you to go over this in detail. Got it. I'll have to receive the data from the helicopter's equipment and merge it with what we have here. Then I'll have to use that to come up with analysis results. Y'all are being okay? awfully quiet. Will uh, it take time? I'm looking at stuff. I'm trying to figure out something. something. Yes, but I'll try to hurry along. 
All right, contact me when the results come in. It's just a lot of analyzing. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, they don't even talk. Let me go look at the recording. That might give us some. Sound only. Alright. Recording started August 7th. Two days ago, I verified the sample collected from the biopsy. I have succeeded in extracting the virus and will begin cultivating it as a sample. Compared to the Monodega viralis, there are 24 similarities found and... Dad, hey, Dad! Sheesh! Rose, give that back! No, it's time for dinner! Oh, is it? <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm sorry. Sheesh, you never hear me when you're working. No more work for you until we're done eating. <laughs> well, you got me. I accept my defeat. Alright, let's go to the dining room. What's for dinner today? Yeah! Dinner, dinner! <laughs> hey, don't run! You'll trip and hurt yourself! Dr. Kimishima, we've finished the analysis on that blood stain. I didn't see anything in there. It was just normal. Well, he's got more corrupted data to go through, so I still yeah. find more. At least we know, like, blood stain that was on the floor. They seemed right. happy. Nothing normal. Unnormal. What no. were the results? Abnormal. Was that Thank you. Zalia's blood after all? Actually, about that, it didn't match your DNA. Huh. Then who's... That blood was Albert Sartre's. What? It's Albert's blood? There's no mistake. I compared it with the DNA we examined before. Then, does that mean Albert was also injured? Like Rosalia? I don't know about that. But considering that Rosalia had been shot... Was he also shot? Mm. Wait, we never found a. Uh, did anybody see a gunshot on Alper? Mm. Hey, we just had bones on him. That's true. Dr. Kimishima. We don't know if that's the case yet. We can't know until we investigate this. This blood stain. It'd be best if I looked into it for more details. <laughs> Hmm. Oh boy. There's so much information. Yeah. Here. There's so much. Let me check yeah, let's go to the field. The field or Rosalia? Field. For, right field here. first. And then we'll go to Rosalia. And yeah. then we'll go to the research yeah. facility. Okay. Let's see. Hey! 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 Another bullet casing here? I didn't see it among all these flowers. Hey! Oh, this may be an important clue. Well, it says that there should be something here. Could this blood have come from the chest room? The or blood splatter. Oh boy. Told you. Yes. If it was hemorrhaging from the chest, it would only be coming from one end. If it's spattered around this much, it means there's another reason for this hemorrhaging. Alright. Hmm. I'm sorry, it's just that I was like, I was just like, oh, let's see how long this one's gonna be. Analysis results are in. Good. Which analysis was this? It's for the glass from the door at the entrance. Huh, alright. Tell me what you've got. Right. We've analyzed the broken glass. We can determine the direction the glass shattered in from the stress marks on the edges of the fracture. Stress mm. marks? It refers to the marks left on the inner edges of a fracture line when the glass is broken. The direction of impact can be found by studying the stress marks on the fractures. Is that so? And what did you find? Well, the glass wasn't shattered from the outside. The blow that broke it came from inside. 
Inside? So nobody shot into the room from outside then? That appears to be the case. But one more thing about that glass. We weren't able to find any evidence like fingerprints or gunshot residue on it. I see. So the glass was shattered from the inside out. Yes. If I think about what happened at the time of the murder, these do have a common link. These fine blood stains spattering Rosalia's clothing. This hemorrhaging was most likely caused by... That's right. There was a defensive wound on Rosalia's palm. The killer turned his gun on this girl and pulled the trigger. That bullet tore through the hand she held up, ineffectually trying to ward off the blow. It then continued into her body, piercing her heart. <sighs> the fine blood stains were from the blood that came from her hand. That the events of Rosalia's up. death are becoming clear. First, that doesn't the cause of death. There's three bullet the wound that killed Rosalia One was... shot the window open, which was too high for her. The other one shot her in the leg. That would he, or he the first one. The door. Or the first one hit Albert. And then the next one, next the two. one hit her leg. She fell over, and so in the fence, being down on the ground, shot. Because remember, that bullet shell was right over top of where she was laying. In the field. Yeah. So. Oh, why is it so but stressful? The, when did the blue flowers show up? Chest struck her heart. And now, what direction did that fatal shot come from? Ugh. Indeed, the entrance and exit wounds tell us the path of the bullet through her body. Rosalia was alive just before this shot as well. The evidence for this is... Yes. The wound on her palm is a defensive one, yeah. caused by her trying to protect herself from the gunshot. The shot. glass on the ground and the her cut right of her hand foot. also has another. It's piece still being analyzed, as I said. That is. Uh, yeah. Indeed, the gunshot residue from the shot they that gave killed that to us. Gunshot residue was left behind when. Yes. Gunshot residue is found on targets that have been shot at close range. <sighs> we can tell that Rosalia had been shot in the chest from a short distance away. <sighs> what would drive someone to be so determined to kill Rosalia? Alright. They knew she was the cure. Or just going crazy. Right, can you get the bullet to him? Not that one. The yellow one. Hello. Hey, little guy. I found another bullet casing. It's a real battlefield there, huh? Let's take a look at it. Well, just like the other two shells you found, this one has similar markings on it. It was likely fired from the same gun as the other two. One bullet was shot outside, while the other two were fired indoors. <laughs> Why was the gun used here? That seems like an important fact to know. Do you fire from the desk to on um, the window? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If a bullet was fired near where we found the shell casing, the question is which direction the bullet went. First, we should consider the number of times the gun was fired. Inside, the gun was fired... Twice. That's right. A total of two shots was fired inside. But there isn't a single bullet or bullet hole in this room. Except for the window. cases, the only other indication of the gun being fired indoors is... Uh, um, last from the door. Indeed, the glass at the entrance was shattered from the inside out. There is a possibility that a bullet fired from indoors broke the glass. If so, then the person who fired the gun would have had to be... In the desk. That's right. 
Uh, if the glass oh, why, did it, why was it so shots, tedious? Like, they would ooh, have been right here, right here. I mean, I get agile and investigation, and you have to be, like, precise of where everything is. Thus, the bullet that broke the glass was fired from further inside the room, near the desk. A shot from indoors fired towards the outside. Is what happened here? Um, can you do fire near the entrance? Oh wait, we haven't got the light back yet. Can you do the other bullet to the chest? No, no, no. Yellow. This casing was found in the blue flower field. This tells us that the shot was fired here. Indeed. It means that the gun was fired here. And this is the place that Rosalia was found dead. The cause of death was a close-range gunshot through the heart. Thus... Solid evidence! So she wasn't dragged! That's right. This is where Rosalia was cut down. But who? Who? Put on the coat on the foot. Waiting for this one to come back. Okay. Um. There's nothing else. I think we need it back out. Okay. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, the analysis on the glass shard has been completed. Huh. You mean the shard that was found near the entrance? Did you figure out whose blood that is? Yes. At first I thought it might be Albert's, like the blood stain on the floor. Mm -hmm. But it seems that the blood on the glass shard came from Rosalia. Rosalia's? Yes, the DNA matches, there's no doubt. Rosalia left a blood stain indoors as well. What in the world does this mean? Well, it means she walked over the glass. This glass shard was, it came from the glass on the door after it had shattered. Mm -hmm. That piece of glass had Rosalia's blood on it. Her corpse's foot had a cut and signs of hemorrhaging on the bottom as well. This most likely means that... A step on the glass. Yeah, cleaned up the glass. Yes. Rosalia stepped on this glass oh, shard and cut her foot. From the amount of hemorrhaging, she must have injured it just before her death. Um, do the book, that one and the glass, yep. Yes, these do give us something we can draw a conclusion from. When the glass and the door shattered, Rosalia... That was right. weird wording. Rosalia yeah. cut her foot on the broken glass. This proves that she left the room after the glass broke. Mm -hmm. Rosalia's foot was cut right before she died. Given the fact that there aren't any more blood stains from her inside the room, Rosalia headed outside immediately after cutting her foot on the glass. In other words, Rosalia was running away. She was chasing through. Yes. Awesome. She most likely avoided the shot and ran lives. from the room. The gun was obviously being pointed at. <laughs> Indeed. The shooter had been aiming at Rosalia all along. That's why she ran out of the room. In doing so, she stepped on the broken glass, injuring her foot. That is what happened at the entrance to this room. Two shots were fired from inside this room. If neither of them was from someone shooting further into the room, and someone inside was targeting Rosalia... Little guy. What is it? Ah, uh, Dr. Kimishima. We've located the lock. The lock? Oh, you mean the one that goes to the key found in Albert's clothes? Yes. It was a safety deposit box in her bank. We've already taken it and the contents. Good. All What's inside it? A 9mm handgun. Albert Sartre's fingerprints were found on the grip as well. Could it be that the person who shot Rosalia was... Hmm. Let's confirm something before that. Was the gun loaded? Yes, the magazine holds seven rounds, and it's possible to keep an additional round chambered. When the gun was found, there were 
five rounds in it. Mm. Five oh. shots. So the maximum number of bullets that could be missing from it is... Three. Indeed. And if the gun is missing three bullets, then... The number of shots used here. More solid evidence! Right. That's the same number of cases that were found here. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, if I may? Yes, what is it? Well, luckily the gun is in condition to fire. If you can find one of the bullets from the scene there, we can use the rifling to determine if it had been fired from this gun. Ooh, ah, nonsense. You expect me to find something that can fly over 250 meters a second? Well, yes, I know it might be a long shot, but... Looks like I don't have a choice. I'll let you know if I do find one. Well... Please do. I'll try to come up with a different plan from here. Alright. Well... Uh... Uh, Dr. Kimishima, we've received the results of the analysis. Good. Is it about the differences between the chest and thigh wounds? Are you some kind of psychic super spy or something? Well, I guess. <laughs> You'll pay for that slip of the tongue, little guy. Oh, sorry, it, it was a joke. Hmm. Fine, but I'll remember that. Just tell me what the report says. Oh, yes. Uh, re regarding the comparison between the two wounds, looking at them, it appears that both wounds were made by the same caliber of gun. Oh. Huh. But the wounds are of different sizes. Yes, it's possible for wounds to be differently sized, even from the exact same gun. Different distances. How can that happen? Right. The reason I can think of is... Distance. Here for a force of will. I see. The bullets were shot from different distances, weren't they? Way to go, Dr. Kimishima. <laughs> Sucking up to me won't spare you from my wrath. Dang. Oh, gosh. Keep telling me about the report. Right. Uh, comparing the wounds in the chest and thigh, the shot that struck her thigh was from a greater distance. If the chest wound was made from close range, the other shot would have been fired from about eight meters away. It seems that there's a big difference in the way she received both of these wounds, then. Alright, so we're going to stop here. That was a lot to go through. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed though, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we can figure out what's going on. Yes. See ya. Bye.